in the previous tutorials we have learned how to create this drawing now in this tutorial we will learn how to create layout for this drawing and how to insert drawing sheet and prepare this drawing for printing to create a layout click on layout one then right click on layout one and select press setup manager then click on modify then from here select your printer or plotter now I want to create a PDF file so I will choose this DWG to PDF then from here choose your paper I want to create this drawing in A4 size click here and I want to create using ISO A4 click here on ISO A4 210 by 297 this is the size of portrait paper click on it then I want this drawing to the scale of 1 as to 1 click here on custom and select 1 as to 1 and I want this drawing to be black and white therefore from here I will choose monochrome I want the paper to be portrait click on ok click on close here is your drawing it is very small one We'll just move it and keep it above here. Select move. Select this viewport. Enter. Give the base point and keep it here. And we will adjust its size after insertion of drawing sheet. Then it is showing this dotted rectangle. This is actually the printing area that means whatever object is inside this dotted rectangle will be printed and any object outside this rectangle will not be printed therefore we need to create our drawing sheet as per this size only and if you want to know the size of this dotted rectangle right click on layout one click on paste setup manager click on modify and click on properties here and from here you can see the size of this dotted rectangle that is printable bounds now we want to create a sheet as per this size therefore we will record this size in notes the size is 198.4 by 261.4 we'll cancel this cancel and close we will create one sheet here I have one ready-made sheet but its size is A3 then I want to convert it to A4 if you want to learn how to create this drawing sheet I will give a video link in the description and a link will also be shown in this upper right corner area by visiting that link you can learn how to create this drawing sheet now we know our required size is 198 0.4 by 261.4 that means horizontal length will be 198 and vertical length will be 261 so we will offset this line by 198.4 click on offset give the length of 198.4 enter then select this line take your cursor on this side and click then again select this line take your cursor above now we want this height to be 261.4 enter then enter now we will trim unwanted object here is the trim command click on it then press enter and remove unwanted object enter then erase this object give E enter and select this object and enter now I don't want this gap so you can match it by using stretch command click on stretch use crossing window click on the right side and take your cursor on the left side click enter then give this point as a base point and give this intersection point as a second point now it is matching properly now this sheet is ready
now we know that we have created the drawing in mm therefore it is important that the unit of this sheet is also in mm we will check the unit give un command un enter and insertion scale is inches we want it to be in millimeter click on millimeter okay then we want to insert this sheet with this base point to set this point as a base point give base command type base enter then select this point then save this drawing click on save so this has been saved as sheet new one then we want to insert this in this 2d layout we'll go back to 2d layout then to insert the drawing click on insert then click on browse and select the drawing we have created that is sheet new one open now if you have ticked here remove that tick we don't want to specify insertion point on screen and place here x0 y0 and z0 so it will be inserted exactly at 0 0 position then remove the tick of scale also we will not give any scale we will keep the scale as 1 and angle as 0 then click on ok now it is inserted on hash layer we will create one layer for this shape click on layer properties click on new layer and give name sheet give color we will give black color or this white on white background it will be shown as black click on ok and I don't want any thickness for this I will take this default then I will create one layer for layout also click on new layer and give name to it layout and I will choose this white color as it is then close this dialog box select this sheet click here and select sheet layer and escape now if we check it it has been inserted perfectly inside the dotted rectangle at 0 0 position now next will be to expand this viewport click on it then click on this blue grip and match it with this point click on all the four corners step by step and match it with the surrounding corners of the sheet then press escape then double click inside the viewport and double click middle mouse button so that it will zoom extend then we don't want to watch these grids for that make the grids off from here now grids are invisible double click outside to come out of the model space then it is not showing circle properly just double click inside the viewport and give re region command enter and again double click outside then next will be to set the scale of the viewport to change the scale of the viewport or check the scale of the viewport give properties command here from here click here then by using crossing window click in empty space take your cursor on the left side and click now here you will see that two object has been selected one is our drawing sheet and the other is boundary of the viewport now we don't want to select this drawing sheet press and hold shift and click on this drawing sheet so it will be removed from the selection set now only our viewport is selected from here we can set the scale click here on standard scale custom click on this arrow and select the scale to be 1s to 1 close this and escape now this drawing is set for 1s to 1 scale the next will be to fill the data in your drawing sheet now I want to write down the text on sheet layer from here change the layer to sheet 
and zoom here from here take the multi line text command give first point give second point then write down the name I will write CAD CAM CAD CAM then select the text and I will give the height of 2.5 enter and click outside in the empty space then move it and give proper position click on move select the object enter give here base point and give the second point then we will copy this text at desired positions click on copy select the object enter then we will give this point as a base point and give second point and copy it wherever you need it I will need this drawing number and I will need this title I will need this scale then date and escape then by double clicking you can change it I want different date here double click suppose I want date to be 4 4 2019 click outside then to move it you can click on it then take your cursor on the text press first mouse button and drag the mouse and you can place it at desired position and release the mouse then we will copy this also give C O enter select the object enter give the base point give the second point enter then by double clicking you can change the dates as per your requirement suppose check date is different and approval date is also different now here takes gone outside we will just adjust its height double click on it then select the text and we will reduce the height to 2.4 enter click outside then move it give the move command select the object enter give the base point give the second point then by double clicking here you can specify your drawing number as per your company standard and you can increase the size of this drawing number suppose I want it to be 5 and I want it to be bold so you from here you can make it bold click outside and move it also move enter select object enter give the base point give the second point then I want same properties for this title actually at first I will change the title double click on it now this is a suspension then I want it to be looking like this one we can use match properties click on match properties select this object and select this object and escape then move it and place it then I want scale to be 1 as to 1 double click and make it 1 as to 1 click outside we can move it also give M enter select the object enter give the base point give the second point suppose I want to write some notes here and I want to pan this drawing on this side double click inside the drawing then by pressing and holding middle mouse button pan it then double click outside and copy this text give CO enter select the object enter give the base point give the second point escape then double click then take your cursor on these two lines and make it larger then we will write here notes notes enter first notice all mm second is suppose thickness thickness is 3 mm and material material is suppose SS then click outside so in this way you can write your desired notes 
and if you want to increase the size double click on it select all the object and increase the size from here suppose I want it to be 3.5 enter and if your nodes goes outside take your cursor on these two lines and make it larger so it will come inside again click outside and move this node give M enter select this object enter give the base point give the second Press middle mouse button two times to zoom extend. Now this drawing is ready for printing. In the next lecture we will learn how to print this drawing with thickness and how to create PDF of this drawing. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.